Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanis. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, debates, entertainment. And we'll give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have a pretty interesting show uh, for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Charles Sabanzi. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z. If you want to follow the channel, Dreamers Pro on Instagram is the same name as the channel, Dreamers Pro. And if you want today's full show before it comes out on YouTube, it is streaming for free on Apple Podcasts. In Spotify, we have that pin in the comments below. Let me get into this topic here. Now, as you guys know, Malika Andrews has turned herself into one of the most polarizing figures in sports media, especially as it pertains to the NBA. As you guys know, Malika Andrews is an employee for ESPN. She has been there for some time. And obviously, she's very good at what she does in terms of reading a teleprompter, expressing her, her views uh, in, in a concise way. She's very good at that. But she's... Um, created a uh, you know she's created a profile for herself where people have now people are now beginning to think that she's one of these people that that makes it her makes it her business to constantly go after black athletes she's she's always she's always fired up and ready to throw them under the bus but when the Josh Giddy situation arose she was quiet about it right she didn't really want to address the issue until people like myself and many others out there were basically calling for her to go out there and say something and then ultimately she went out there to read a teleprompter where she put out her statements and they seemed quite lukewarm and she seemed like she absolutely did absolutely did not want to be there uh, while she was going through those comments so malika andrews is a polarizing figure someone that follows the sports world pretty closely we, we produce a lot of content surrounding espn and recently when espn went through his court cutting by firing a lot of his front-facing talent like max kellerman jeff van gundy mark jackson and a slew of other um and a slew of other personalities a lot of people were asking the question how, how come they retained malika andrews that's not what i was saying that's what you know people were saying so what happened as you guys know the nba is currently having uh the in-season tournament or excuse me the in-season tournament reached its conclusion last night uh, and at the end of it usually what happens is you know you have a ceremony award where, where, where someone presents the award so in, for this particular event, they decided to have Malika Andrews be the person to present the award to the Lakers, right, via Adam Silvers and all of that. And when it came time for Malika Andrews to speak, to no one's surprise, the crowd actually started booing her uh, on live TV. But before we even get into that audio, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeeks, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. And with the NFL and NBA season in full swing, SeatGeek has your tickets to every game. Now, here's the best part and the reason I absolutely love SeatGeek. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by the buyer's guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event. And we have great news for you because we got you guys a really, really good deal. Use code DREAMERSPRO for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DREAMERSPRO. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. And remember, when you try SeatGeek by using the link in the description below, just know that you're helping this channel. So what we want to do is we want to quickly play, it's about a 10 or 15 second clip of Malika Andrews speaking in the, in the crowd reacting to her and then we're going to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to this sound by here. 2023 NBA in-season tournament award ceremony, ABC and ESPN's Malika Andrews. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by members of the Boys and Girls Club of... So you heard what the crowd had to say there. Here are my thoughts. What I, what I cannot understand is why ESPN is making it is goal to force this thing down people's throats. Why are they forcing Malika Andrews on people? I don't really understand. What is what is it with this push to, to, to force feed her to the... She clearly is a polarizing figure, and I know that they're aware of this. And for whatever reason, they're still trying to shove her down all of all of our throats like we must accept malika andrews and to me it really speaks to a larger societal issue i haven't been in the states for quite some time but i follow what's going on in the states and, we're, and i'm going to be moving back to the states next year um but i've been following some of the things that have been taking place from a societal cultural standpoint and one of the things i'm beginning to notice for example disney which is uh, which has been a household name uh has really been going through a lot of um turmoil in terms of their audience 
uh, what is it? Their their, their acceptance rating, uh, I guess you would say, for, from people, because Disney has really been on this push. And I understand you want to make it, you know, an even playing field for women and all of that. But they've been going to the point where they're now beginning to turn off a lot of people, including women, by the way. Um, they're pushing this heavy women agenda. And now it's beginning to turn off a lot of their viewers to the point where I think one of their recent Marvel movies, Mar I think Captain Marvel, when, uh, yeah, Captain Marvel, the, um, the female superhero, bombed. And people, it seems like, are getting sick of it, including some women, by the way. And it seems like there's this craze to continuously push this. And people are pushing against it like, okay, enough is enough. We get it. Stop trying to force your ideology upon us. You guys clearly have an agenda that you want to push. And we're pushing. We're saying we don't want it. So for them to continuously trot out Malika Andrews, it shows this constant a need for them to push whatever agenda for, for for her to get booed it shows you that she's very very polarizing but still yet and still they're going to continuously go out there and push her out there which is something i don't really understand i don't understand it i don't i don't understand what disney's really really doing i really don't get it they're doing things that are counterintuitive things that are hurting their bottom line and they're full bore moving moving in that direction which is something i don't understand i don't understand when all of this really uh, started to happen to me. Listen, I think that uh, ESPN is going to continue to retain her. I think they're going to continue to try to force her down people's throats. Uh, and I think it's a damn shame because it means you're not listening to your customer base. And then one needs to ask the question, why are you even in business? Why would you do things to irritate your customers? I mean, to me, it's, it, it would seem pretty rudimentary to have a business model that says, you know, what? I'm going to respect the views and opinions of my customers. I'm not going to do things to then irritate them and turn them off. But in this particular instance, this seems to be what they're doing. And then, of course, you're going to have other people out there like uh, Stephen A. Smith and others that are going to go out there and defend it and act like as if they don't know what's going on. That's why I was so surprised. Stephen A. Smith understands everything, but he doesn't understand why people are annoyed with Malika Andrews. I'm like, bro, what are you talking? You cannot be serious. Talking about black men. I love black power and I'm supporting blacks. And I'm like, but then when Malika, you don't understand what people are. What You don't get it. How do you not get it? Because she had made it, because she came on your show, she tried to show you up on your show, and she apologized to you uh, in private. So therefore, it's all good. So all the other stuff that she's doing can be excused, or you don't understand it. To me, listen, uh, it, it's 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 telling, to say the least, to have her get booed on live TV, to have her get booed. That says a lot. And nevertheless, they're still going to continue to try to shove this down our throats, which is, a, which is a damn shame. So the first question I have for you guys is this. Number one, why do you think ESPN and these guys continuously try to promote Malika Andrews? And number two, do you think that they will ever listen to their customers when they say, listen, we just don't want this anymore? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show.